Have you ever been in love? Ooh, today is Valentine's, guys. Say what you wanna say to me now. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. Something that's been fake to me now. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. Say what you wanna say to me now. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. Something that's been fake to me now. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. His mind was not an object. I'll buy land and build my family a home. I would like to have a house somewhere in the woods, my own personal house as a girl. <laughs> Happy Valentine's! How are you guys? This is Makina J. Let me take off this. Happy Valentine's! Where are you celebrating? Valentine's from whom are you celebrating with? Is it your personal person? Is it your family? just is it your friends you know valentine's you can just celebrate with anyone i hope you're doing okay welcome to my youtube channel my beautiful name is makena j and on valentine's day guys i'm going on a date i'm going on a date guys look at me tell me how i look hey uh this dress i bought in uganda it's a memory of uganda has this hey i just know i look good <laughs> so guys tell me what you think um my mom told me this one looks good on this outfit like this maasai necklace this one i got from maasai land and i have this personal necklace that i never take off i bought this necklace when when we were with my sister my sister has one like this but i when i came back she was not wearing it and I don't know why, but me, I never take off, like, I cannot take it off, but I don't know how it looks, like, if it's making me look stupid, I'll know as the day, <laughs> as the day goes on, so, it's really sunny, but I, I'm not sure how I look with the, with the sunglasses, guys, tell me, so that I can know when I'm wearing this outfit again, because right now you're not here to tell me, but you'll see in the video. What do you think when I have these sunglasses? Do you think it looks good? Or should I put them like this? It's really sunny, so I'm like, how will I bear this sun? Oh. Hey, today I just wanna look good. Going for a date. <laughs> look at me, guys. Oh, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Tell me what you think about it like this or without it. That's me, that's my outfit. This is my handbag. These are my shoes. Tell me how I look, guys. I feel like a fairy tale. So, guys, see you. See you where? I don't know, but just come along with me. Today, I don't look homeless. I look good. Tell me which way to go. This or this? Which is better? Which is, is this one is very long. Like for this one, I have to get to the stage to get a tuk tuk. But for this one, I can get a tuk tuk on the way. So let me take this one. Guys, how are you celebrating your Valentine's? I'm so happy. Come along with me, guys. Hey, what are you doing? Guys, maybe as the day progresses, I might take this one off. I'm not so sure about it, but okay. Oh god. Hey sheep. Um so for so this one I I'm not sure about it. The Maasai necklace. But before I get there, I will have known. I will have known if it's good or not. <laughs> I will know. So but before I get there, let me let me know. Do you think it looks good with this outfit? This Ugandan dress? This dress from Uganda? <laughs> hey, I have to emphasize this dress is from Uganda. I feel good when I get clothing from a country, like another country. Like, just imagine how amazing that is. Like, I, I can say I got this one from another country. I can say I got this one from Azaila. I got this one from. And where did I get this? Oh, this one is from there. 
like a sheep you know when i see sheep i remember they are they are a representation of the what do they call it do you believe in a soul the sheep is a representation of the aries aries we have aquarius we have i don't know Bajo. we have sagittarius do you believe in astrology do you, do you think that is what african ancestors used to base their life on <laughs> tell me what you think about astrology guys tell me what you think about the stars and everything and the universe yeah Ooh. I don't want to get dusty. Let me get, go up the camera now. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Something that's not fake to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Something I arrived in Nairobi CBD and let me tell you, I've never seen Nairobi CBD with so many people. Okay, I've seen it before, but uh, it's not every day. So the people are so many and there were a lot of like vendors selling like flowers, dollies, even some were selling engagement rings. So that like if you are single today, like going to the Nairobi CBD was the worst decision you could have made. And yeah. Was it a worst decision for me? Let's find out as we go. So guys, it was really nice to see all those people selling flowers, fresh flowers, plastic flowers, just anything. <laughs> Uneza kuja, unajua mali naivasi ya, ya um, Kemadi Street hiko? Kuja po naivasi, sawa mwali kutuwa po karibu. Aya, ukifika po ulizia tu hiko api? Ukifika po, like, hapo, ulizia sawa mwali kwa api, ala po ingia sawa mwali. Aya. Eh. guys i'm already in nairobi cbd and i want to like make this day a day of spoiling myself i want to get my first gifts of the day like today's all about me you know so i'm going to get a first gift for myself before i go to i go for the date come along with me if you want to see how the date will go and everything but for now let me get a valentine's gift for myself oh so this was the first gift for me today on Valentine's. It's a journal book, a planner where you plan your days, you plan your weeks, you plan your months, you plan your year like days into weeks, into months, into years. Um, I've been really struggling with planning my days. I always end up forgetting things and I thought this book, I saw it like it's something I've been really wanting to buy for a long time and finally I have it on Valentine's Day. There is a declaration of self-love, uh, self-love journey, self-discovery journey. And guys will come along with me as I continue like discovering myself, loving myself more and more because I really need that. I really need to love myself, to plan myself and to know myself better and better. So guys, what do you think of this gift? Just tell me what you think. I really loved it. So guys, another reason I'm posting this, like letting you know I'm starting this journey with this book is because I want to encourage someone out there who might be going through what I'm going through or who might just be trying to balance out things because for me, I'm honestly trying to balance out my life, my days because it's the small things that make up the big things and that, that makes me question if they're really small things. Okay, they are really big things. So come along with me in this journey as we uh, encourage each other, you know, that vibe. This is how it was packed. And the yellow things that you see are some stickers. And the black 
a card that you see the black card had, had a message it it was a long message but let me just read it i hope that you'll put the planner into good use so it serves you uh, it's a long message i'm not going to read all of it but it was really nice this was me trying to pay the people here were so many i'm telling you the people are just so many we were fighting for our lives fighting to for space you know not literally fighting but the space is small and the people are many Say what you want to say to me now I want to wake up with you in the morning Something that's been fake to me now I want to wake up with you in the morning Say what you want to say to me now I want to wake up with you in the morning Something that's been fake to me now I want to wake up with you in the morning Turn it on, turn it to an ocean Let me float around Guys, tell me what you think about this. So now let's go for the dates, guys. How do you think I look for the dates? Tell me what you think. Should I remove this one or should I just stay with it? So my date today, guys, I was taken to two places and now we're gonna start with the first one. For the second one, it will be a surprise. The first one, we went at Yaya Center, guys. Kenyans, you know where Yaya St Center is located. It's a hub, a mall for any good eateries, even with live music, live band, performing and all that. It was very special. We went for the first stop was Pizza Hut. And there we were going to eat pizza, guys. Stay tuned because in this video, you'll also get to know me as a person. I was also very happy because this is my first time I'm going to Yaya Center, guys. And I was very happy because the people all roam around here are people with money. Like, it's a cool hub. A hub for rich people. You know, it was just so cool because even the cars that were, like, moving around here, let me tell you. Even the ambience of the roads, the environment, it was just so nice. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. guys we are already here uh, we are starting at Hi. pizza hut um, and yeah you're going to meet the person that um that i have a date with very soon and we're waiting for the first thing that we're going to eat is pizza then we're gonna go and eat ice cream guys i think you'll meet this person once you go to the ice cream i'm not ready for you to meet this person yet it's very special to me and everything and guys we are waiting for pizza and as we wait maybe i can answer some questions for you so that you can get to know me better who oh, is my phone so guys, I'm going to answer some questions that you've been dying to know. I don't know if you've been dying to know, but I've been dying to tell you. <laughs> so that you can get to know me better in terms of relationship-wise. I've written some of the questions. Um, I actually asked the person that I'm with to write the questions for me. The ones that this person would like you guys to know. And these are some of the questions that this person wrote for me. I'll not use a pronoun because I don't want you guys to know yet. It's a surprise. Stay, stay tuned for you to know. So the first question that this person asked me is, what are you most grateful for in life? 
Guys, I'm grateful for life itself. I'm grateful to be able to breathe in, uh, to breathe in and to breathe out. That is a bless. That is the first blessing in life, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, number two, what do you think makes someone a good person? I think a kind person, a person who is kind, not only to other people but to themselves. They treat themselves with self love. Oh, that okay. kind. Let me tell you something. Someone who do not treat themselves with self love cannot be able to love you. So if they cannot love themselves, they cannot be able to love you. So I think a good person should be able to love themselves, to be able to love you. And they have to be kind to themselves and be kind to other people. That's what makes a good person, a sweet soul. <laughs> um, number three, how do you express your love for someone? Um, I think I'm such a physical touch person, guys. If, if like, I love you so much, I'll keep touching you, touching your hands, touching your skin, touching your face, touching your hair. Like, I think that's how I express my love. I'm such a physical touch person. And another thing is that, um, I try to learn also, like, the love language of this other person. Maybe it's gift. I'll try my best to to buy gifts for them, maybe acts of service. I'm not such a good person when it comes to acts of service, but gifts and physical touch and spoiling you. Oh my God, that's how I will show you I love you so, so much. And words of affirmation. Oh my God, if I love you, I'll keep complimenting you and everything. Like you just know it. <laughs> that's how I express my love to someone. Guys, I'm so lucky because when I got here, there was music playing, but right now, God was like, stop that music. And the music is not playing right now, and I'm so happy about that. <laughs> so let's go to the next question. Do you often listen to your intuition? Um. Okay, what I will say, sometimes I try to ignore my intuition, and once I go and get character development, <laughs> that's when I, I did my intuition feel like I told you but you didn't listen so sometimes I don't listen sometimes I try to ignore because I want things to go a certain way but when they don't go I really regret it yeah it's good to listen to your intuition it will re really avoid you from a lot of drama and yeah all that hey guys these questions are too many too many <laughs> okay what does spirituality mean to you? Hey, hey, I didn't see this one coming. What does spirituality mean to you? What does spirituality mean to me? Mm, spirituality means to me the universe, the creation of God. Um, okay, for me, honestly, I don't, I, I know not to mix. Spirituality and yeah, religion, I understand there are two different things, but guys, I don't know how to explain it. If you know, you just know. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, spirituality is such a unique, unique topic. I don't know how to describe it, guys. It's so huge. It's so unique. It's so... What does spirituality mean to me? Like, being able to know yourself, being able to see this, from a deeper perspective to look at people and be able to see them for who they are, to look at yourself and know yourself, to be able to speak like, hey, it's, comp it, it's so big, guys. Spirituality means it's so big. I can't be able to think. Hey, I didn't see that question for me. <laughs> okay, the next one. Which celebrity would you choose as a mentor? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Right now I'm reading a book by Viola Davis and the book is really good. Maybe I'll say that that's a good mentor. Who else? Oh, let's speak about Laya Marwa. Like, yeah, that is someone you can choose to be your mentor because they are very authentic. He's very authentic. It's just himself. So it's good mentorship when someone mentors you to just be authentic. Um, hmm. Do you believe 
in astrology why or why not <laughs> hey <laughs> okay guys um to be honest i believe in astrology i do believe in it not because it's a trend nowadays i just believe the truth has its own spirit so for you when, when you when i am i've not really understood it deeply but i can feel like it's something very true very real and something that Emotional that's what yes. like our ancestors based everything on like the life on i believe even governments are like they have employed astrologers to be in the government but maybe maybe like there's so much to it so somehow i think it's real it's real like they all vibrates on numbers and all that so yeah i kind of believe it too <laughs> So next um if money were no object what's the first thing you would buy if money was not an object um right now like right now I'll buy land and build my family a home yeah that is something I'll buy right now like buy land and build my mom and my dad a, ho- a home house I would also buy land and build my my home <laughs> i know it sounds really weird but i would like to have a house somewhere in the woods where even my kids and their boys at my house we can go to like yeah i would like to have my own personal house as a girl <laughs> yeah so another thing that i would buy if money was not anything is a jeep i'll buy a car a jeep <laughs> in particular <laughs> And what's another thing? Mm-hmm. Have you ever been in love? Ooh, today is Valentine's, guys. Like, okay, to be honest, yes. I've been in love before. I've had a boyfriend before. And it was really nice. The relationship was really sweet. Like, being, I love being in love, guys. But... Yeah, I really love being in love, but nowadays finding good men is really a challenge. You can't know people by the surface of themselves. But honestly, I've met really great, great, great men in my life. But that boyfriend that I was in love with, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. But yeah, he, okay, I won't go into details, guys, but yeah, right now, I'm single. <laughs> no. Guys, the person behind me is looking at me and smiling. <laughs> and just smiling, guys. You know, you know this person and the video continues. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> number five. Hey, number five. Number what? Okay. Do you want to have your own family someday? Hey guy, of course I want to be called mom. I want to be called Hey mommy. My my brother is doing this to me. Like I just want to have us the true element disturbing you. I want to give back to my husband's relatives. <laughs> so that they can be disturbed like us and we can show them love. And one thing there is I want to I want to give back to a family. I want my my children to grow up in a complete family with a mother and father and not just any mother and father. A happy a happy mother and father. I want my kids to look at me and be like this is what love looks like. Guys, say amen. Wherever you are just say amen. I really manifest that I manifest a good man. For me, can be. For me, can be intimacy in terms of physical intimacy, spiritual intimacy, intellectual intimacy, um, emotional intimacy. What else? Yeah. Financial. Hey, financial intimacy. Play like all those kind of intimacy that you can think of. I want to get married to my best friend, so that. I, you know, guys, when when your like when your parents are happy, let me tell you, even kids dry. 
So I want my kids to thrive. To thrive. Guys, I don't know if I have another question. Let me see. Oh, what's your favorite quality about yourself? Or at least favorite? Um, my favorite quality about myself, guys, I believe, I believe I'm very, like, I'm authentic. I don't try to hide anything. Like, I believe, okay, not believe, I know. <laughs> no, I'm um, just, I'm one of the most authentic people that you'll ever meet. And this is not something I'm saying because I'm trying to brag. This is something that even people have told me, like, the moment they are with me, I bring out that authentic part of themselves, like how they just want to live life without being stressed and all that. Um, my least favorite. What is my least favorite? Sometimes I'm lazy. <laughs> that is my, I really hate being lazy, but sometimes I'm lazy. I like, I plan so many things. Like I can be doing so many things in a day and I be like I'm just doing things during the day, but at the end of the day, it's like I've not done anything. Like you try to to do this, and the next minute you forget you are in another thing. You forget you are in another thing, and I also hate the fact that sometimes I pro pro hey. What is procaris procrastinate, guys? <laughs> I hate the fact that sometimes I procrastinate a lot. Okay. Thank you. This is the medium. It is small. Ah, you should have this small change. Hey, we need this full day. Our food is here. Oh, is our is our. I think we should have taken a large one. We should have taken a larger one. What do you think, guys? But we, we are going to eat ice cream, so I think ice cream will fill up the rest. Maybe we should take some drinks. But because we're going to eat ice cream, I don't feel like I can drink soda, maybe water. But this is really small, and we can't return it. So we could have taken a larger one, but we didn't know. So, guys, we're just going to eat this. So... I'm going to wash my hands and I hope you enjoy the conversation that I've had with you. So guys, let me go and wash my hands. I can eat this with my parcel. <laughs> the pizza is smaller than we expected, but let's try it. Yeah. You know, it's just coming out. Uh, the crust is really soft. This is a chicken pizza. This is not the first time I'm eating pizza, guys. But I rarely eat. <laughs> not the first time, but it's rare to find it. <laughs> it's really nice. It's soft. I love when it's soft. But I wish it was more juicier. More juicier than this. Oh, these mushrooms, too. I don't know what these black beans are. Maybe bring the camera closer. What are these? These black beans. But it's green pepper, chicken, onion, cheese. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Oh
take to you now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Some of the time fake to you now I wanna wake up with you in the morning But we can, we can do nothing, do nothing at all So what, so what If you're stupid then you know it's nothing wrong But you and me got a home The guy is the finally, finally, my boyfriend. <laughs> hey, who are you? And where? Where are you here? <laughs> okay, this is a person who made him on a Valentine's Day trip. Is this a Valentine's or a Galentine's? Valentine's. That name is her. Guys, this girl. <laughs> Guys, you see this girl that you see here? Like, she used to be my teammate in high school. And she used to sleep a lot. <laughs> she used to sleep a lot, like in class. And she transferred her sleep next to me. Molly Mama. Of my, where are you? <laughs> hey guys, say your name. Uh, I'm not new. You're new. Yeah. Maybe yeah. someone is with you for the first time, guys. She doesn't I'm sweet heart. Okay, guys, her name is Chelmi. Her name is Chelmi Snaitore. And yeah, she's a noise maker. I don't know how to make noise. She was my best friend in high school and my best friend. And she used to sleep a lot and because we used to sleep together, I started sleeping too. And she was very good in math. <laughs> oh god, this girl was so good in math and physics. I never even used to believe it because she used to be so late. Like, oh, they make it make sense. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, okay, you see this girl, we've come from far. Or is it that slow? Anyways, guys, um, yeah, she's my friend and we've been friends for so many years. And I thank God for, for her. Right now, I want to go and eat some ice cream. Guys, the reason you see her smiling, smiling because she doesn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what to say, but yeah, this is your survey, and we want surveying services. Just look for me. She's rich, or oh, she's very rich. Amen. <laughs> no, amen. You're very rich. Amen. You're very rich. Amen. Okay. Amen. So, guys, uh, we'll go to eat some pizza. <laughs> My friend, her name is Chelmi. She has one of the most unique names that you'll we'll ever see. And yeah, even Nitore, she, we come from the same place, but Nitore is not common on it. Chelmi is Nitore. I don't know what your parents were thinking. When they named you that, they are so unique. Really. Yeah, they are very unique names. <laughs> like, even in school, no one was called that name. It's you know, there was glory. Nitore. Glory. But only her, right? Mm. Imagine two Nitoras in the whole high school world. Of a population of? In a population of 700 students. Only her and another girl who are named Nitora and tell me. It's only you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go to the, to the ice cream corner and come along with us. It's gonna be fun. We get Kenyan and you want to know some places you can chill during the weekend and eat some ice cream. Come along with us. This is Kenya Cinema. And now here it is. 
So for the ice cream we went at Yolo Center. Okay, this was still my first time going here. It was my friend who showed me this place. And because she has been here before and I was like, why did I never know this place? Like it's so nice. Um let's just go inside. There's a lot of young people here, like it's just so cute and everything. This is the name Yolo Ice Cream such fast flow. Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Something that's not fake to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Something that's not fake to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Turn it on, turn it to an ocean Let me float around So um, we got there. This is how it looks. The walls are so colorful. But tell me why once we got there, the line was so big. Is it because it was Valentine's? Most people that were here, uh, mostly they were girls. But there were also some boys. They were very handsome. They they gave me the, the soft boys, you know, like the soft, gentle boys. Like, they're just so cute. It was so cute to see them here. Some were there for dates. But tell me why the line was so long. Is it because it was Valentine's? The menu was brought while we were in the line. You would check what you want, like the ice cream you want, and like just pay. Then you go sit down, then wait. And I didn't know what to choose. Like the names were really complicated. So I did a guesswork. I chose just guesswork. Drum rolls. Our, our ice cream was finally here and it could never have looked so much better. It was a mixture. There's uh, chocolate at, at the top, there's mango, there's strawberry, there's vanilla. I'm not a fan of chocolate, so at the end I ended up giving it to my friend. But I ate uh, strawberry and, and vanilla were really, really sweet. Honestly, this is such a nice chill chill spot. I don't know where it was all this time. I never discovered it. 
but that's that's the good thing with going out with your friends they 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 show you some cool places that you can chill so i hope to be coming here okay not every time because you know ice cream and sugar is not so good for for you but like sometimes to chill and also i hope to bring my siblings like my younger siblings so that they can have fun such a nice spot nairobians yolo yolo ice cream i'm giving them free advertisement but i know you love to know such a place so this is a place for you also have a menu that you can scan you don't ha- you don't have to use the physical menu and they have placed it on the table as you can see before we even knew it we were done with the ice cream guys i didn't at the end of it all i didn't like the i don't know if it was mango or orange like as you eat you start like not feeling like eating it's too much say what you want to say to me now i want to wake up with you in the morning something that's not fake to me now i want to wake up with you in the morning say what you want to say to me now i want to wake up with you in the morning something that's not fake to me now. Before we leave we need to see the toilets how clean they are they have like the toilets are just so nice they have this decor on the walls like this graffiti they are just so beautiful so guys check it out now added home guys after such a successful galentines it was time to go home i really enjoyed the day and thank you so much for also being here with me to see how i enjoyed the day like yeah thank you so much guys i love you so 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 much i don't know how you just know how it feels when we fall in.